Now let us proceed further. Like we have understood about the data objects that we covered now. Now we'll see something on the tables type. So as I've told you in table, we have two types of tables. One is called as a managed table, managed table or unmanaged table. Unmanaged table is also called as an external table. Let me just go through the documentation on Databricks officially. What is table? Table is nothing but it is a structured data which has rows and columns. Okay. So if you look at in detail, so the default provider for the Databricks are Delta. So if you create any table in Databricks, by default, the format of that table would be a Delta format. You can see. As Delta Lake is a default storage provider for tables created in Databricks, all tables created in Databricks are Delta tables by default. Very, very important. So if you create any table by default, it will be a Delta table. Create it by data frame style. You can do it by SQL. Anything, it will be a default Delta table only. So what is Delta? We are going to talk about that. Now, you can see here, have two points here manage table and you have something called unmanaged table when i say table there are many ways you can create a table with by python by sql you can do that okay and sometimes in sql you can use a ctas statement also it has in sql relational database we do that no, no, no. like we can create a table by other table yeah. so we can create it by using sql's ceta statement you can create a table again create table table name as select star from another table this is called as a ceta statement but now my focus for this is what exactly is the managed table and what is exactly an unmanaged table or it is also referred as external so try to understand in databricks the default provider for the table is your delta table. So you end up getting a delta format when you create a table. So you can create it by SQL style or Python style. Unmanaged also, again, table, it is a delta table. Again, you can create a SQL style or a Python style. So what is the difference? The difference between managed and external managed table or external table also called as unmanaged table is about the data and the metadata. When you are creating a managed table, you are not giving any location. Here you can see you are not giving location. So you end up saving, end up getting a table, but all the data and the metadata that will be stored by default in the Hive Meta Store when you are creating a managed table. Means you are not providing any location here. You are not providing any location. So by default, Databricks will give you the location that is nothing but Hive Warehouse. It stores into their Hive Warehouse in their DBFS. DBFS. But if you say that, no, I want to store my data and the metadata outside my DBFS. I want to save it into my ADLS account, my S3 account, my GCP storage account, anywhere you can do that. Then in that case, your table becomes a managed, uh, in that case, your table becomes an unmanaged or external table. So it is simple. Just for creating it by data frame style, we know the syntax is df.write.save as table. Just specify the table name. You end up getting a managed table, and that table would be obviously delta. In this script, you are just writing a path. You are specifying a path. Hey, can you please save my data and metadata at this path? You give any path in your ADLS, in your S3, wherever you want, you can save it. So if you are saving it, then this table becomes an unmanaged table or an external table. So what does it mean? As a name itself indicates external. External means you are responsible for 
saving or you are responsible for handling all your data and metadata when it comes to managed table data bricks people will manage your data that's why it is called as a managed and unmanaged i'll just take few minutes to the hands on on this managed and unmanaged so let me go to the data bricks here now you can see there is no tables here let me go to a uh, workspace <coughs> and let me go to a new folder here i'll just create a notebook and i would say that i'll just say that this is my about tables i'm talking about the tables so i'll just take a relative path here i'll just run points here let me run this so i have already saved two uh, paths in the files notebook yeah i want to pick up the input files i just take up this file uh, path i get a data frame now now we'll see how to create a table by using a python style definitely i'll show you by sql style also first i'll create a csv file uh, i'll just read a csv file csv and then specify the path i'll use an f string here i'll just take out the input files and in the input files i have one folder or a one file called as a circuits file let me pull out one circuits file circuits.csv let me execute this so i will get a data frame and oh this is a csv file so there will be no headers so let me take an option here let me put an headers here headers equal to two. let me put a infer schema to be true and let me execute this let me execute this so that your header and info schema becomes true now i want to create a table out of it so how to create a table so when you are writing it when you are writing a data frame there are two ways do you want a table or do you want a file so we have seen how to write a file it is df.write.parquet or csv or json whatever but now specifically i'm talking about a table so dot save as table is the syntax so just write save as and you save get a table. intellisense you can pick it up and then give a table name so i'll give a table name called circuit so before i execute this i need to be sure that where you want to save this table i mean which schema do you want to specify so by default i have one uh, and that schema is by default only the name of the schema is default but i want to save it into development schema so let me use development schema so if you want i'll just take up a line here to show you percent sql and write show schemas or you can write databases and you can see there will be two databases that are there inside my hive meta store or a catalog default and dev so i'll need to save it into the dev so let me execute this let me execute this and you would see that a data frame saved in a table and the table name would be dev dot circuit so i would like to show you a few things here so it is getting created let me go to the catalog explorer let me open that in a new tab here or to get a quick view you get an option here in the notebook only yeah, you can see here so on the uh, i mean on the notebook also you get this catalog view once you click on it you can see there will be a catalogs and then uh, objects within that it will take one or two seconds to refresh it now i have opened the catalog explorer on the new tab and you can see dev and there is a circuit table so when you click on this it, you can see a table that you can see the schema of that like column names and everything you can see the sample data also you can see a quick sample data you can see the details of the you can see the sample data you can see the details so this is what i exactly wanted to show you a quick thing here this is a delta table you can see the table source format is delta 
and the type is managed table. You can see this is a managed table. And who is going to manage all your data and metadata? Your Databricks will do it. So where it is going to save, it is going to save into the high warehouse. That is what exactly I'm trying to explain. So let me go back and here, okay, you can see it here also. Let me cancel this. Now what I'll do, I'll just write a SQL query here. I'll just write describe, describe, extended, extended, and I'll write a table name for kids. I need to specify a schema also or you can write use schema that is dev and you don't need to mention the two level namespace here. Yeah. You can see here column names are here, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, column statistics is also there. So we will go deep dive into this later on. And then you can see detailed table information. Hey, it is a, uh, it is a managed table and someone is managing here. Cool. I can see that. Now I am telling you that if you give a location, an external table means what what i'll do i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it here so before you write save as table i'll take one option here dot option and then i'll write it like path and then i'll save it somewhere here so if you remember i am i have a path basically saved here at the output files let me copy this and come back this part I'll use an F string here I'll pass that output files here let me check it's in the output file process data I'll save it into my table called I'll write it novel and then I'll write it like tables in the tables I'll write circuit circuit okay now I'll execute this I'll execute this and now you can see that your table oh i think here we need to change the name because it's already registered so let me write ext ext okay let me execute this and now you would see that a table got registered with a name called circuit external so let me show you two things now first i'll show you the table second i'll show you the path so let me go back actually i will get a refresh button here Maybe take some time to refresh. Okay. Here actually we should get a refresh button. I don't know. Okay, let me refresh the entire page. It is not recommended actually. Okay, no worries. Now let me come to my ADLS account. Let me get inside an input container. And then let me go to the process files. Or process data i'll get into my name novel and here i'll have a tables you can see that tables within that tables i have a circuit file or circuit folder within that you will have your data that is your parquet files and then you will have some metadata i have made a separate video on what is this all your we have the link. link yeah so this is your data guys so when you are creating an external table you can see all the data your ADLS the path which we have provided but if you have not given or not given any path it will take up by default hive meta store so okay let me come to the catalog explorer now I guess you can see it here in the development you can see the circuit file so <clears throat> I'll come to the notebook I'll just execute this script again but but I'll change the table name table name to circuit external let me put it here and just say circuit external okay just change the table name to external and let me execute this and now once I execute it the key things what I want to show you obviously this is a delta table obviously it is a delta table the format is delta itself but I want to show you that it is a man, it is an external table and it is taking up this path. Oh, this is the path where all your data and metadata is getting saved. Now, someone might say that, oh, what's the big difference? What is the big deal in that? So, if there is a managed table, it is saving into the hive meta warehouse. If it is unmanaged or external table, it is saving it into our uh, path. 
what is the difference then okay in fact like at the end i am getting a table only i am getting both tables only so there comes a difference now i am going to talk in one minute you will get to know that so if i start dropping it okay cool so when i say dot let me take sql here and then i'll just drop table name if i write circuit okay circuit okay obviously once you create a table you can start running uh, queries on top of it you can just write a sql query so let me write hope that is clear to you select star from dev dot circuit okay cool once i run it you would see a table okay so from data frame we have created a table and you can see the results the same if i write circuit underscore ext ext still you would able to see the same data the data would look same the table would look same there is not a difference at all but the difference comes when you start dropping it guys please listen this very careful if i say development dot circuit if i drop it and you can see just a minute drop table and let me so it says okay now and i'll copy this I'll copy this syntax guys and i want to drop it External table also. Okay, I'll take only one minute now. I'll just drop an external table. Drop both the tables. One is manage table and one is external table. You should get an output as true. You get an output true. So if I refresh it and if I look at the data catalog, data catalog. If you go to the Hive data store and if you go to development. There should be no data at all. Yeah, both the tables have been dropped. Dropped. But, but, if you go and check the high warehouse, if you go and check the high warehouse where we created a managed table, there will be no data and there is no metadata. There is no metadata there because you have dropped that. When you drop it, your table, your data, your metadata, everything get dropped or deleted in case of managed table. But in case of unmanaged or in the case of external table, your data is storing somewhere else. Databricks do not delete that. So let me go back to the Azure account. If you remember, we have a data. Let me refresh this and you can see still your data remains here still your data remains here so even though you have dropped it the metadata and the data is in your adls account so from this can you retrieve it yes you can retrieve your data back guys so just you need to have a path that's it so let me get a path so i have a path here i'll just show you how important it is to get an external table 